Good morning, everybody. I'm Olga Villaverde. And I'm Amber Milt. Welcome to The Balancing Act. Engage in positive social change. That's the mantra of one university as they try to offer a curriculum for the leaders of tomorrow. And you know what? Tomorrow sounds like a great day to get away, or at least to plan a getaway. We have travel tips that'll have you cruising to a tropical destination. Plus, we are in the kitchen once again with our friend, Chef Ralph Pagano. Mm, we've got all that and so much more. It all starts right now. the social impact uh, program because I consider myself to be a social artist and what I mean by that is I've dedicated my career to looking at society and social ills and trying to bring solutions to impact issues like poverty. Poverty has been my main focal point. The value of higher education in today's competitive job market cannot be overstated. Learning to become compassionate leaders in an interconnected world is equally important. With us to discuss positive social change and revolutionary engagement skills from the college classroom and beyond is Dr. Eileen Aranda, president of Claremont Lincoln University. Good morning. Good morning, Olga. How are you? Great. Thank you so much for being here, doctor. Well, thank you for inviting us to the Balancing Act. We have so much to talk about. and. And the first thing I wanted to ask in terms of just your opinion is that it's, it's like that need for society to evolve. It's necessary, right? It is necessary. In fact, if we don't evolve, we're probably going to implode. That's right. So we need to learn to get along together. We need to learn to be able to resolve the issues that cause us difficulty without violence, with respect. And so at Claremont Lincoln University, that's what we teach, those engagement skills to allow that to happen. And I know you're very passionate about teaching those engagement skills. Explain that a little more. Engagement skills, that ability to draw out other people's perspective. So we teach mindfulness, focus. We teach dialogue, that ability to draw out other people's ideas, not just your own. Collaboration, how do I work with a group? And finally, change making. How do I actually get something done? It strikes me as a very forward-thinking environment. Am I right? It is. It is. We took the best of traditional education when we decided to build a new university. So we have faculty that facilitate. We have practitioners that come out of our programs. It is an exciting way to learn. So how does that apply then to the online program? Well, online is the way to learn for the 21st century. Everyone is used to their digital devices. We learn, we talk, we engage through the internet, and so education needs to be the same way. There's a new term called ubiquitous learning, which means I want to learn every day, every way, on demand. And at Claremont Lincoln, we do that. And online, when it comes to doing those programs, what can one shoot for in terms of a master's degree, for example? What is offered? You can get a master's degree. You can get certificates. You can subscribe to a lecture series. We have education for everyone. A huge variety. Now when it comes to that personal one-on-one, -on -one, a lot of people just sometimes say, you know, I'm not into it or I just don't like it because I feel like I'm not going to get the help I need, uh, the connection I want, that, that personal one-on-one -on -one touch. Not so anymore. Not so anymore. In fact, online education is much more intimate than traditional classroom education. So? Because you're engaged with a group of people, everyone talks, not just the five people uh, who always have a comment about everything. It's not the instructor who is the one who's sharing information, it's all of the students. Everyone's engaged, so you really learn the material about your colleagues better than it used to be. So you really don't feel like you're alone? You're not alone. You're engaged with a whole group of people if you want, 24 7. Mm. Whenever you can do it, on the plane, on the train, on the go. On the, on the go, absolutely. What about cost and, you know, just kind of debt in case it's so expensive? Because well, students, unfortunately, get a lot of student debt. They do, and graduate education can be very expensive. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a good return on your investment. No matter what, you make That's it in right. the end. But in 
Traditional education, there are a lot of built-in costs that at CLU we've really tried to eliminate. So at Claremont Lincoln University, you can get a master's degree in 15 months for $15,000. Oh, wow. So you can leave with an accredited degree and not be in debt and be able to do the job find the career that you want to do. And definitely get that bump in the salary and more exactly. opportunities and exactly. doors open. And the ability to really do things that make your life meaningful. So for really anyone out there difference. who maybe is thinking of one, I've thought of getting my master's and always there's something that stops me and, and there really should be no reason whatsoever. Closing thoughts? Claremont Lincoln has education for everyone. The degree that we have, the courses that we teach, enhance anyone's education, anyone's career. They are the things you need to do to know the mindset and skill set to be able to work in the 21st century. Build relationship. Where can we learn more? ClaremontLincoln.edu. Thank and you And so remember, much. We're online by design. We're online by design. Thank you, doctor, so much. Appreciate all the information. Thank you. And if you'd like more information on Claremont Lincoln University, you can go to our website, and that's thebalancingact.com, or log on to Facebook forward slash The Balancing Act Fan. People definitely look at my now my experience in combination with my education um, as a lot more valid, um, as, a, as my, uh, my suggestions, my opinions, uh, the strategies that I propose to the work that we do are taking a lot more um, heavier now than they used to. All right, Olga, I've heard you like to cook. I love to cook. I know you don't like to, but I... I like to eat. I love to cook, so it's a good combination here. But let us not digress, get it? Oh, lettuce. lettuce. Thank you. Chef Ralph is in the kitchen this morning with a quick bite that puts a new twist on lettuce wraps, my favorite. Welcome to my kitchen. This is Quick Bites with me, Chef Ralph Pagano. When it comes to eating, I like to take a cue from the Indian culture and I like to get my hands on. I've been fiddling with my food since childhood, and these Mushu-like lettuce wraps are another great excuse to hold dinner in the palm of my hand. So today, I'm gonna make these cool Asian lettuce wraps. Now check it out. We cook these noodles in a big pot of broth that we use the seasoning pack to flavor up. You know, ramen noodles, you can use them so many different ways, and the seasoning pack really is packed with so much flavor, you're gonna love it. Here, the noodles. To that, I've got a dressing that I wanna make. I've got sesame oil, soy sauce, some fresh ginger and garlic, they taste great. A little bit of cayenne pepper, give it a little spice, a little heat. This, I'm gonna dance around carrots, green onions, red peppers, you want yellow peppers, you want orange peppers, you want white onions, you want beets, now's the time to put them in. They can all dance together in the bowl. I'm gonna add some nice diced chicken. I took this chicken and steamed it, but I marinated the chicken first with a little bit of rice wine vinegar and ginger so the chicken's got a lot of flavor. Put that all together like that. Yeah, put everybody in there. Give it a cilantro, too. And this, the star of the show, Marishan Ramen Noodles. These noodles are absolutely fantastic. Marishan's been making these noodles for close to 100 years, and they know what they're doing. I'm gonna use these chopsticks to spin this around. This dish right now is smelling so good. That soy sauce and that sesame really jump out at you. The peppers get to dance around. I got these lettuce cups. So this is fresh flavor. This is so easy. Now check this out. You can make this in the morning. You can make this in the afternoon. You can make this the day before and have it in the refrigerator. The kids come home from school. You pop out a lettuce wrap. You grab your chopsticks. You put the noodles. Make sure it's get some carrots. Make sure they get some of the cilantro. It's nice and fresh. Oh man, look at that. The carrot, that I can be eating all day long. You want to learn more about ramen noodles from Marishan? You know I do. Log on to thebalancingact.com. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter as well. You want to share your favorite ramen noodle recipe with us? Send it to us. We're dying to see it. Remember, this has been a quick bite. But chew slowly. Wow, he's got some great ideas and they look fabulous. 
and healthy too. Yes. Mm. You know what else is a good idea though? What is? And a healthy thing to do? <laughs> you want to be prepared before you hit the road. This is true. And here with some travel tips courtesy of Sunoco is Debbie Marie. Travel tips brought to you by Sunoco on the racetrack or the road home. Sunoco, fueling victories every day. Water, drink plenty of it throughout the day. From home, office, to working out, it's even great advice for those long car trips. Being hydrated keeps us alert on the road. And you know what, your car needs hydration too. Think of the fluids and oils as hydration for your car. Probably the most important lubricant is oil. Along with coolant, in fact, it's the one that should be checked most often. Oil keeps the engine running smoothly, lubricating all those moving engine parts. Check oil levels with the dipstick. If it's a quart low, go ahead and add one. It's easy to do. Just make sure the dipstick is the one for oil and they're color coded. Yellow is the most common. Coolant. It works to keep your engine cool during hot and summer months, but during the winter and cooler months, it works as an antifreeze to keep your engine block from cracking. When you're checking your coolant levels, be sure your car hasn't been running for at least 30 minutes. Remove the cap slowly and fill. How about your windshield? Keep fluids topped off. So look for the windshield wiper icon, pop the plastic top, and pour. A clean windshield gives you better visibility, especially at night. The power steering fluid container is a plastic tub with a cap. Pop it open and check it out. If you're on the road and you find that you're low on any fluids or oils, stop in to Sunoco. Fill her up and hydrate her up. Stay hydrated and your car will love you for it. And don't forget, drink your water. Hydration is good for cars and people too. Well, that's it for now. We'll see you next time. Happy trails. Travel Tips has been brought to you by Sunoco. On the racetrack or the road home. Sunoco, fueling victories every day. How do you modern shine? Frankly, and be honest, you know this, proper hydration is key 24-7, 365. We need to be drinking enough water all year round. Now here to remind us why proper hydration is always important and to share some great hydration tips is Matt Sheehan from Prima Water. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Thanks for being here, I'm doing great. All right, basic question, basic answer. Are we drinking enough water? We're on the right track, okay. uh, but we're not there yet. Doctors for years have been telling us that eight glasses a day. Uh, we're more on the two to, two to four glasses a day, but really excited to see some of the trends where in 2017 it's predicted that uh, Americans will drink more bottled water than they will soda. And that's a really exciting trend uh, to see how uh, American families are, are focused on health. Because it's really important for our health, isn't it? It's incredibly important for our health. Um, a few things happen when you're dehydrated. Uh, number one, we can get very moody. Um, our mental acuity can change, just how sharp we are during the day. Um, most important, the, the way I look at it, is our energy levels can dip low, and you don't need a lot of soda or sugar to do that. What you need is you need the water substance in your body. Drink more water, you'll have more energy. And I, I know you can look good also when you're aging, because I've been told that if you drink a lot of water, it helps. You yes. must drink a lot of water. Oh, well, thank you. You're <laughs> such a sweetheart. I love this man. <laughs> you can come anytime. <laughs> All right, so tell me why we're not drinking enough water. What's the problem? Um, we need to make it a habit. What's really important for us is to look and set it up in our households so it's a habit. Um, we have one of these in our households. I have three kids, seven, five, and three. My three-year-old goes right to the dispenser. He gets his little red Spider-Man cup, and, and he goes right away and, and gets his water. We have to think about water as a habit, not as a product. And when we do that, we've heard for years from consumers that they drink more water because they have a solution in their house, not a product. And this really creates that good habit as opposed to grabbing the soda. It sure does. In fact, in our household, there is no soda. Um, we make sure that um, our kids, this is the option they have to drink, and, and they've been doing it since they were a little, little. I have a 13-year-old and 11-year-old, and to this day, they have not tried soda, and I'm kind of happy about that. Yeah, you're so. doing a great job as a parent, then. But Excellent. I do think we need more water. So let me ask you this. What's the difference, let's say, between filtered water, tap water, and Primo water? Yep. 
Let me start with, uh, it's an important question, let me start with Primo water. We use reverse osmosis, which breaks down, um, breaks down water and, um, and goes through a purification process. That's very different than tap, and it's very different than filtered water mm -hmm. itself. So we feel very proud about the extra care we put into the water, um, and it's very different than, than tap and filters. Filters will take some things out of the water, but not all of it. Um, and tap is, is good in many parts of the country, but um, as we're seeing, that uh, there, are, there are places that have really challenging tap water. And what we see in those areas are consumers more and more are coming to a long-term solution so that their families can have a habit in their household. That's where it starts. Now, when your family gets through one of these, how do you refill it? Two ways to do it. You can refill it yourself, take it back to the store where you got it, and fill it yourself in a self-refill self station. Or you can exchange it for uh, another five-gallon uh, container of water that's prepackaged. And plenty of stores to do that? 25,000 stores around the country, oh. so we're literally around the corner from your house and every American's house that there is. And not only are you drinking good water, which is good for you, you're also helping the environment. You sure are. And Matt, is it affordable? It's extremely affordable. Really? Um, yes. Uh, this, if you refill this, it's 37 cents a gallon. In some places, it's 27 cents a gallon. And that crock we see there, that's extremely affordable for any American family to commit to water. All right, so I had my cup of coffee, Matt. I'm going to grab a glass of water because I need to now have one for the morning. <laughs> and for our viewers out there, where can they get more information? Primawater.com. I like this one. It would look good in my kitchen. It looks great. It's simple. A lot of people love it. Thank you so much for your time. Healthy. Cheers. Mm. And speaking of water, the waters of Bermuda certainly are beautiful. You listening to that, honey? I hope my husband hears that. Uh, Olga is back with some affordable options from an unexpected resource that could have you and hopefully me cruising in no time. You're gonna wanna check this out. Whether it's a stock up size of paper towels, a giant flat screen TV, or everything you need to throw a party, shopping at BJ's Wholesale Club means saving lots of money. But did you know you can also book travel at a discount? So the next time you're in line at the checkout wishing you were cruising in the Caribbean, you might consider booking your vacation online. Hmm, where will BJ's Travel take you on vacation? Okay, so I know where I'm going. I'm thinking a cruise to Bermuda for my entire family, which is perfect because with me is the president and COO of Norwegian Cruise Line, Andy Stewart. Also joining in on the conversation this morning, Senior Vice President of Partner Brands for BJ's Travel, Camille Oliveri. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Can you tell I'm excited? Yes. Born and raised in Miami. I love cruising, and I know we're going to be talking about cruising in just a bit. <laughs> but first, let's talk about BJ's. I'm really surprised. Now there's travel, because when I go to BJ's, you know, I get food, I save money. Yeah, we're actually not in the store, so a lot of people don't actually realize that there is a travel benefit. And uh, when you book travel through BJ's, we've negotiated the best possible rates on behalf of the members, and also they get a gift card every time they book. And they get great deals to cruise. That's right. I've never been to Bermuda, and rather than flying there and renting a car and doing that hotel thing, I can cruise there. You have to cruise to Bermuda. It's a wonderful destination. At Norwegian Cruise Line, we have two ships, one based in New York, one based in, uh, in Boston, the Norwegian uh, Breakaway, the Norwegian Dawn, and Bermuda's an unbelievable destination. And right. to cruise there's the best. You don't have to fly, you have a couple of days at sea, and we all love the days at sea just to enjoy the ship, watch the world go by. You feel good, the kids, you know, are right there with you, they can go have a good time, you don't have to worry. Exactly. The kids get a little bit of freedom, which is hard these days, and they can enjoy kids programs and parents. The dining is unbelievable. Nine, 10, 20 different dining choices. Mm. French restaurants, steakhouses, every choice you can imagine. Something different every night. So uh, the diet can be a little challenging. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> and then when you get to Bermuda, it's beautiful beaches and that little British flavor that I have a penchant for. So it's, it's, a, it's a great, great way to go to a beautiful destination with Norwegian Cruise Line. So Camille, tell me how I can go to Bermuda on Norwegian Cruise Line, save money, and what do I have to do? You have to be a member of BJ's. Okay. And then you can book through BJ's Travel, and then you can get your fabulous Norwegian vacation and get your gift card. I'm there. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Andy, thank you as well. Thanks, Olga. And of course, if you'd like more information on traveling to Bermuda on Norwegian Cruise Line, you have to go to BJ's.com forward slash travel or go to our website, thebalancingact.com. Can you tell I like cruises? And that's our show for today. Great show, right? It was. It went by so quick. Especially the food. But head to our Facebook page and our website 
follow us on Twitter. We've got great information there. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.